morning everyone and happy Sabbath and a special special hi for all the children who are watching us. So today I'm bringing you the children's story from Ellicott City. I hope we all had a very good week at home. Um, I know that all of you must be missing to go to school, missing to see your friends and even some of your family members, but I hope we are all keeping well and very healthy at home. Um, so what are the few things that you have been doing during this week? Hmm, I can imagine a few of them, uh, especially looking at what my children have done as well. So I imagine that first you have been washing your hands very well with water and soap for 20 seconds and I can see some of my kids, you know, like nodding with their head, like yes, you have been cleaning your toys um, very well also. We have, you have been going outside, maybe to your backyard, to get some fresh air and to play, to do some exercise. But you also have played a lot inside, you have kept studying, uh, you have been practicing instruments maybe, reading, what else? Um, baking, cooking, and I think like you can add a lot of more things to the list. Um, so we have been doing most of those things in my family. Um, so we have kept like really, really busy as well. But today for the children's story, I would like to talk about a special activity that we can do every day. And actually we can do it at any time. And maybe you already guessed it. So we will be talking about talking to God and praying. Um, and for that, I have a special guest that you might know. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. So before you tell your story, um, the Bible also has a lot of stories about prayer and about talking to God. And today I would just like to read you a, a Bible verse that reminds us of that and reminds us how God loves us and hears us. So I will be uh, reading from the Old Testament, the book of Jeremiah, verse 29 and verses 12 to 13. And I chose the New Living Translation that says the following. In those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. So Sam, you have a special story about how you pray to God. Do you want to tell us the story? My dad travels a lot, mostly to Madagascar and sometimes to other countries like Greece. My dad travels mostly by plane. He usually takes like 24 hours to get there or sometimes more than, probably more than six hours to get there. Mm -hmm. And I always pray to God that God is staying with my dad and helping my dad stay safe at the country. I always pray that he arrives safely, stays safe, and comes back safely. And, and last what happened the last time, yeah. The last time he traveled to Madagascar, he traveled to Madagascar, and he, the coronavirus pandemic, pandemic, pandemic <laughs> has already started. Right? Has yes. already started, and most airports were closing on the day he was arriving so he came back on an earlier day mm -hmm. and i prayed to god prayed and prayed and prayed to god that he would stay with my dad and keep him safe for the whole time he came back and i asked my dad how was he and he was real he said he the the, the trip was really really good and I bless God, praise God, that he stayed with my dad and kept him safe. Good. And God can hear your prayers just like he can hear mine. Thank you, Sam. Exactly, boys and girls. God can hear all your prayers. God can hear your small prayers. God can hear your big prayers. He listens to your praises and he listens to your requests. And especially, God knows your heart. He knows that you love him and he loves you very, very much. So for this week, I would like to leave you with um, a little bit of a homework. 
So first, I would like you to create or to think about a list of things that you would like to praise God for. And then I would like you to pray about those things. Then I would like you to think about special requests that you have for God. And I would like you to pray for those requests that you might have um, to make a special prayer to, for those requests to God. And then finally, I would like you to think about a favorite song um, that you really like and that talks about prayer. I can give you my example. And that was a song that I reminded myself in the last several weeks. I really liked a song that um, I used to sing a lot when I was a kid, um, which is um, God is so good. You can use this song, you can use, you can think about another song, go to YouTube, go ask your daddy and your mom, you might have a CV at home and you can listen to the song and even sing it.